at the hibiscus. Oh, a gardenia is here. Isn't this the cutest? It's pre planted bulbs. You have the different elephant ears combination, and they just add water. That is so cool. Seeing it. <gasps> this one is sticking out. Oh, he wants to go home. Oh my goodness, Daisy May! I wasn't even here for this, but since you're here, I think I may get it. Okay, so I'm going to bring this half dead, amazing Daisy. Daisy May. We'll see if we get it, get it discounted. But what I really came for is compost. I'm going to be top dressing my garden bed with compost. Today's the first day that it hasn't been raining. So I can finally get this done. Hopefully I can get it done today. I think it's going to rain tomorrow. So let's get my compost loaded up. All right. So we have nine bags of compost. I think that should be enough. If not, I'll be back. But let's see what coverage we get with these nine bags. I keep seeing these. I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me get them. I keep passing them every minute. They remind me of coleus. And yes, I end up did getting a discount on them. I'm going to cut these off before I plant them up. So let's get these out. We are back from Home Depot. And here go the compost. Compost. These are heavy. How much pound is this? 40 pounds. Come on, strength. <laughs> okay, last one. I had to actually go get change. I got my troll so I can dig up any weeds I see and put my compost down. I'm using the compost as a mulch because I have sandy soil. So what I'm doing right now, I'm also removing the moving the chair from here so I can put the compost down. All right, so now we have more space. And see, I got changed because it was hot. All right, so I just, I just want to use my troll to open it up. So while I'm waiting for the bee to go away, I'm over here planting up my amazing daisy, daisy May. So that's gonna be its new home. And we have some Shasta daisy planted up next to it. And we're still getting my bed composted so i think the bee is gone so i can go finish up over there but these colors are looking amazing so let me backfill this with some dirt i want to show you something super cool so this is my limelight hydrangea that i cut back um i have a video i'll link it in the description below for that um but i pretty much went in and pruned it and the sticks that I prune, I stick them in the ground here. And look at this right here. There is actually, right here. Look at that. There, that's the only one that has green on it. Like even the main one that I cut it from doesn't have any green. But I think it has root, rooted and we may be a, we may have just propagated <laughs> um, a limelight hydrangea. And, I actually got this tip from 
Tracy from Tracy's Home and Garden. Um, I believe she's in Canada. So I she and I think she was doing her brothers and she was cutting back the limelight and she pretty much just stuck them in the ground. I'm like, oh, instead of just throwing them away, let's stick them in the ground and see if any of them take. And she did mention that it may or may not work sometimes or sometimes not. So I'll keep you guys posted on that and let you know how this little fella does and if we get any more additional ones or if it was just that. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. Okay guys, so the bees is gone. What was a big bee? He was busy collecting pollen, so I just stepped out of his work area and gave him some space to finish collecting his pollen and he's done or she's done. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to put the chair back over here. So for all of you guys wondering why I'm using compost, this is why. Look at that. It's literally sand. I'm literally planting in sand. Like I've put garden soil down. Um, I think this is the first time I'm, actually this is the first time I'm putting compost in the garden babies. Normally what I was doing, I was putting garden soil in the hole and planting things in there. Some of them just straight plants like this limelight hydrangea is literally planted in sand. It's not fully filled back in with dirt because I backfill it with some sand, but I wanted to put a com compost in there because how much nutrient does sand have? I don't think that much. So if you look, it's pretty much covered and sand but you can see it more right here because this is a new area that I'm planting in I haven't planted anything here yet except my hydrangea and it's about to get some compost all right But my hydrangea is looking so good. The contrast is amazing. So I'm just going to get the rest of the garden bed finished up. Okay, everyone, here's the big reveal. You can't really see it from the front, so I'm gonna take you to the other side where you can see it a lot more. Look at the super tunas climbing up the tree. Isn't that cute? I love it. That's so amazing. So from here, once you come into the side, you can definitely see it. And look at this, the pink against the black 
it's amazing. I love black garden beds. And then you have the lemon coral sedum. It's like the chartreuse green against the black. Yes. Oh my goodness. My sea of petunias. Well, not, not just any petunias. Super tunias. So I'm going to come back in and fill like all right there in with some more. Like another layer. I think another layer back here will be good. This is my... High, limelight hydrangea and when it gets big imagine that green and white contrast against the black now that's going to be beautiful beautiful so now here we are over here you can see a more of an impact here the only thing is um yeah i ran out of dirt <laughs> like right there <laughs> so i need to come in and finish that side over there and I have some here. And those plants I picked up from Home Depot, don't they go well with the Bordeaux? That's so beautiful. Look at that. Bordeaux. It's called Persian Shield. And here go the Shasta, not the Shasta daisies, the, the Daisy May daisies. I need to come in and cut that back and water it in. But look, that's the Shasta daisy there. And Janie from Dig Plant Water Repeat, she had this amazing tip and she mentioned that if you have the Shasta daisies, get the daisy maize, daisy may, amazing daisy and put it because they bloom on the opposite time so they're always, this way it all is always blooming. And what did I find at Home Depot today? <laughs> but the Proven Winners, amazing daisy. And if you notice, whenever you go to Proven Winners website, those things go fast, like everything pretty much go fast. So you have to catch them. So if you go to Home Depot low, sometimes you'll see some proven winners items there. All right, so I need to come back in and fill out that side. But I did get the limelight hydrangea completely buried because I'm telling you that it's pretty much sand. So I was able to, this is one bag of compost right here, one whole bag, because the hole was deep and I had to get it filled up. And it was a lot of sand. So hopefully it seems to be doing well. This one has the most leaf out of all my hydrangeas. Granted, granted, it does have a bit more sun. I'm not sure if this have more sun than that one over there. Hmm. Oh, look at this. This is a nice view. Look at that. The purple against the white and sea of pink and white. I am loving my garden, guys. It is amazing. I still need to come in and clean up here. That's from the sprinkler right there. And I had a bush right here. I haven't cleaned that up yet. But yeah, I think I need about another eight to ten more bags. Yeah. But I'm still so obsessed with this pink against the black. That's so pretty to me. So beautiful. Wow. So I'm just going to get some more dirt added and i'll keep you guys posted but look at this this is amazing i love it i love it the black does add an extra contrast now you can see that side from the front oh so pretty pretty thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i appreciate you guys bye